Well, hearing aids are expensive and vital to those who use them, and they also come with a warranty. Yeah, they're super expensive. Only on 12 News, Gabriella Becerra explains why some customers are worried their warranties might not be honored. Well, Mark and Crabe, it's all because a store that sells the product has unexpectedly closed. So if anything goes wrong with their devices, what options do people have? I spoke to some consumer protection experts to find out. My world is very quiet. Patricia Kordowski depends on her hearing aids to experience the world around her. It's just like a light switch. Uh, I put my hearing aids in, I can hear. I take my hearing aids out and, my, and I just can't hear anything. She bought this pair in February for $2,600 from Belltone Hearing Aid Center in Mesa. The purchase agreement includes a three-year warranty and insurance to cover cleanings, adjustments and repairs. It's a complete maintenance to make sure that your hearing aids are working to the best they possibly can. But when Kordowski stopped by for a cleaning in July, the store near Main Street and Greenfield Road was shut down with no explanation. I was so angry, I just wanted to cry. Um, it, it, you feel very vulnerable because, you know, if you can't hear, your communication goes way downhill. When I visited the location, there was no signage or proof a hearing aid store was ever here. Besides this note from a neighbor saying they had no information on the closing. I tried to reach the store's owner, Christopher O'Brien, by phone and in person, but never heard back. Belltone confirms O'Brien was an independent operator, but couldn't say why the store closed. Everybody has life changes. I understand that. But I really feel very strongly that people should have been given a letter and perhaps a couple of referrals. Kordofsky tells me she's called around to other shops. She's learned the warranty was saving her hundreds of dollars a year. This is just a daddy end. We, we have no recourse. We have no place to go. Just spend more money. Thomas Dominoski, a consumer attorney, tells me people in Kordofsky's position may have some options. If it was from the store where you bought it from, in general, that warranty is only as good as that store staying in business. Um, whereas if it's from the manufacturer, then it doesn't matter who sold it. Dominoski says consumers may even have more options if they didn't pay with cash. The federal law allows some credit card charges to be challenged. It's a detailed inquiry that starts with someone getting together all their documents and not just counting their losses. And if this happens to you, for any type of product, you can file a consumer complaint with the Arizona Attorney General's Office, or you can find a consumer litigation attorney to help you learn your rights. And actually, just a few hours ago, I heard from Kordoski, and she found another Mesa hearing aid store that will honor the warranty. For now, reporting in studio, Gabriella Becerra, 12 News. All right, that's good to hear. Thanks so much, Gabriella.